God bless you, brothers and sisters. This is the day the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. I wanted to take a moment uh, due to so many busy schedules, and we are actually actually planning our December workshops uh, in so many areas uh, that we have to visit. And um, due to our last leadership roundtable, we were able to receive um, the um, resignation of several of our uh, key ministries and uh, we're excited about moving forward but I need your help I need your help and that is though you have resigned I do need you uh, to maintain the course of the leadership through the end of the year can you do that for pastor I really need your help um, it's not that we automatically know who is standing in that stead I'm going to revisit every ministry and to make sure that we have a clear, concise vision on how we're going to move forward into 2023. Um, but we've, uh, I think over the last week or so, we've had some vacancies. And because we have vacancies, I want to make sure the understanding is that, you know, that we need you to finish the year out in that leadership position and that we're not uh, guessing or there's an expectation to get feedback from a particular ministry and then there's no recourse or no response. So please don't vacate um, your area of ministry. Let's pass it off in a godly kingdom way. And I know you will help me to do this and to make sure that we can uh, find someone um, that can pick up that baton and run with Pastor into 2023. I thank you again. For your faithfulness, I thank you for taking time to uh, hear my cry. Again, I need you to finish the year strong for Pastor and help me um, to bridge the gap between our 2022 leadership team and those that will stand um, in, that, uh, in that leadership position going into 2023. I thank you ahead of time. I really do and appreciate you for your support and help in making greater works. Uh, just a better place. God bless you.